Hey there, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program career mode. Finally starting up the career mode again, and we're actually going to start fresh. Uh, I know we didn't get super far into career mode last time, and that's basically why I'm going to start fresh. Because um, I would like to. I want to I wanna try to get things done a little bit faster than I did before, using you know all the knowledge that I learned in my previous go around with it. I'd like to see if I can do it again, but a little bit faster this time. And, uh, you know, we also have asteroids and stuff now, so that'll make things a little bit more interesting. The uh, main goal will be to set up an asteroid base as soon as possible and, uh, you know, get the science going on the asteroid, see if that even works. Uh, first things first, then, let us actually take a look at the map or at the, the system here and uh, find... There you are. Class C, we got a Class C. Let's track this baby. What are we gonna meet? We're gonna meet in 95 days. Alright, we got 95 days to set up some sort of a ship that can. I think it was like 100 days. But, anyways, we got a, uh, yeah, we got 100 days to set up a ship that can get out into orbit and pick that thing up. Uh, and that also means working with, you know, nothing right now. So yeah, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to be quick about it. So let's build a crappy little ship here that can get us to somewhere. We don't have struts, we or we yeah, we don't have we don't have anything. We have a parachute though, which is very very necessary. We have an antenna. Um, I suppose we will use that. Do we have any power generation? We have no power generation, which is not good. So we will use the antenna. Uh, is the antenna even worth it? If you have no power generation, that thing's just gonna kill your your charge as soon as you send the uh, as soon as you send a report down. So let us make a quick little little thing jobber here. We have we have nothing. I forget that you have absolutely nothing at the beginning. Well, we do have Jebediah Kerman, though. That's all that matters. Alright, first launch, go. See, easy. You don't need to do anything. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna cheat a little bit and actually do a bunch of science here, because why not? It's probably the first thing you should be doing anyways in career mode. You just get a little bit of science while you're on the launch pad, so why not do it? So, we, uh, crew report. Yep. Crew report from the launch pad. Good job. Can't transmit that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, review report. I guess we'll keep the data. Okay, good. Good job. You have reported on hanging out on the launch pad. How's that going for you, Jeb? Yep, things are looking good. Alright, we'll keep that data aboard the ship. Good job. So, while flying over Kerbin Shores. Mm, no, no, not really, but okay. Uh, so now we are also going to oops, EVA again and fall on our butts. Ouch, that looks, looks painful. You okay there, buddy? Anyways, get up. Get up, you got work to do. Alright, take an EVA report here. Done. Take a sample. Done. All right. We good? Recover. We'll recover, uh, recover Jeb. We'll see how much science we get out of him. It's probably not much, probably like 20 science, but it might be enough to get us into the next tech level. Yeah, 11.4 science. We also had the vehicle at the launch pad, which we can recover as well. So we will recover you. See how much we get out of that. Another seven. Great. So we have got 18 science. Can we do anything with 18 science? Probably not, but I don't know. Might be able to. Let's see. Go to R&D. We have basic rocketry. Yes. Five science. You get more fuel. You get uh, the mystery goo. Nice. We can start doing uh, real experiments. And more importantly, the coupler. Done. What else do we have here? We need 20 science for this stuff, don't we? 15 there. Ah, oh, crap. So close. Alright, well, that's fine. At least we have a little bit more. 
So now we shall put a few extra parts onto our little little craft here. So top part, decoupler where you add bra. There you go, decoupler done. Got a decoupler. We uh, are we gonna try to get an orbit with this? Yeah, let's try to get an orbit with this. Why not? Shouldn't be shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Or maybe it will be. I can't uh, can't remember if I did this exact same thing last time or not. I guess we don't need these doubles anymore, but we're gonna keep them. And I'm actually gonna put one more on there. Do one of the whoops, one of those. Get a decoupler on there, and now we will do some of this and see how this works. Just out of curiosity, I don't. I'm pretty sure once in the uh, the top, the next one activates, the the fire will just explode the bottom one away. But honestly, it might just be easier to use decouplers because we have them, so why not? One there, move it up one more, bam, we're good. Let's see how stable this thing is. All right, anything else we can do? Oh yeah, we have a goo thing now, don't we? Let's let's use the goo thing. We will put the well, we'll actually use two of them. Ah, oh, but we still we don't have power still, so we, you got to be so careful with it. No, we're not going to use. We're just going to use one. We'll put one on there, and yeah, I guess we'll toss an antenna on there too, just to have it'll be useful, I suppose. I don't. It doesn't really matter where we put it. Put two because it looks cooler. It's got his little ears going. All right, booster decoupler, booster decoupler, booster decoupler engine. Uh, wait. Yes, engine decoupler, engine decoupler. Yeah, good. Just make sure everything's fine. Go to custom zero because that's where I like to keep my science. We will observe the mystery goo with that, and I guess we'll use 9 to toggle on the antenna, because why not? And, uh, let's go! Quick launch. Get there as fast as possible. I don't, I've never actually tried this whole, uh, stacking boosters thing. I don't, I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't even think this thing is gonna stay upright on the launch pad, to be honest. But, I guess we'll find out. Oh, it's 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 upright, all right. We have no SAS though, which is not so great. Anyways, let's go. Hey, it lifts. That's good. It's pretty stable. Mm, it's kind of tilting off to the side. Kind of tilting quite a bit. Up tilting, please. Oh no. I guess we'll just have to use the. Uh, don't even have SAS. We'll have to use the SAS that's in in the... Oh, I guess we'll transmit it. Oh, no, we can't, right? We can't do that. Because we don't have the uh, scrubber thing anymore. Right, right, right. Man, science used to be so easy before. Oh, God. I can't... can't do... can't do anything. Okay, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Where's the science? Did I take the science? I guess I kept it. Okay, that's not good. Now we are a ballistic missile heading for the ground. Come on, turn around! Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, uh, we need to... Not do that. Or that. Or that. Or any of that. Come on, parachute. Come on, parachute. That was kind of cool. So that's what happens when a booster goes through everything. It annihilates Jebediah Kerman. Jebediah Kerman was killed. Well, poop. Did we get any uh, science? No, we did, I didn't send any science back. Oh, I should have transmitted that science. God damn it. And I'm actually, I'm not going to revert at any point unless I mess up, which is possible. I'm going to try to keep the, um, the, the timeline going, I guess. So whatever happens, happens. We're not gonna... We're not gonna cheat, we're not gonna revive anybody by going back in time. 
Now, I may forget, and I want you guys to yell at me if that does happen. If you ever see me reloading or reverting or anything mid-game, then please let me know, because I want to avoid doing it. Uh, we can't really... can't really do anything about this. Let's take one of these off. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, because you, you have no control at this point. You have no wings, you have no SAS. Well, you have SAS in the uh, the little capsule, but that's not much to control a beast like this. Monstrosity of a, of a horrible rocket. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see how this works. I guess you don't even need to uh, boost up because your, your speed, that is, you don't need to thrust up because, well, you have boosters going for the first couple of stages. I think as long as I keep keep it in line right off the bat and don't let it get away from me, things should be a little bit better, but be so careful. And I gotta keep an eye on that thing too, on the um that thing over there. We're not we're probably not gonna make orbit with this. Who am I kidding? This is not an orbit capable ship. Might be I don't I really don't know really don't know. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? Yes, yes we will. At least it's uh, definitely a little bit easier to control now that it has one last stage to deal with. So I guess we'll just be optimistic and start pointing towards the 90. I just don't want to tilt over too much because I don't want to lose control. Alright, there we go. There's the engine. Actual engine firing. Can't remember how fuel efficient you are, does not look like you are very fuel efficient at all. Which is great. I don't want to be going too fast either. Just trying to make orbit. Come on, Bill. I know you're sad. Your your buddy your buddy Jeb is dead. Don't worry, we got the cloning bats ready to go. They'll bring him back to life in no time. Crap. I should probably do. Let's do a crew report. It's three science, sure. Whoa, whoa, hey, okay. I was doing a crew report, okay? I wasn't paying attention to the controls. It's difficult to multitask. Said Bill. Not me, I would... I have no problems multitasking. Oh boy, okay. Too much... too much drifty. And we might... I don't know. We might have the speed for it, but we're not gonna have the uh, we're not gonna have the altitude for it. Gotta get those fine controls going because this little guy is kind of crazy. Uh, oh my god, buddy! Got the SAS on. I guess that's the internal SAS. Whoa, okay, maybe we might actually make orbit. Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. I guess we'll find out. And I'll turn that off because I don't want to use power. Because I've done that before and you end up screwing yourself over. We're close. We are super close actually to having an orbit. I don't know if we'll have enough to actually get back down to the ground afterwards, but we might. Like there-ish. I want to leave it in the atmosphere because, because I guess no, actually it wouldn't be counted as being uh, in orbit then if you still have if the periaps is in the atmosphere. Okay, so that should be good. Should be being the key word here. Well, we slowly drift around. All right, we got to burn for 15 seconds. I don't know if I have that much burn time in me. I guess we'll find out in uh, about. I don't know, in a little while. Oh, we got we got to deal with this stupid time warp. We don't have the actual time warp that keeps us locked in place. The cheaty time warp. All right, so at about let's go with that about like seven seconds. No, let's go with like ten seconds. We'll start burning. Oh, buddy, get the SAS going because we will need it here. Oh my, oh my, I cannot. There we go. There we go. Running out of fuel, running out of fuel, running out of fuel, running out of fuel. Cut it. Just out of curiosity, are we in orbit? 
We are not in orbit. Crap. Okay. Uh, and there's not much fuel left. And that is making me worried. See, I don't want to use the last... Yeah, there's not enough. I, I will probably... Hmm, no, I probably won't even have enough for orbit. That's fine. I want him to get back down to the ground, though, so I don't... I'm not going to uh, burn anymore. I'll just save this fuel. Alright, so, uh, crew report. Yeah, let's overwrite that one, because this one is... We're in space. Ooh, a whole five science. Let's transmit it. See how much power this drains. That's a lot of power. So we can only really do that once then, okay? So we'll do... Okay, we can't do another crew report now, but we will be able to do another one later on. Yeah, okay, good. So we're not going to get anything more out of it there. That's fine. We will observe the Mr. Goo. And we will get a whole bunch of science out of that. We'll keep that. Good, good. Bill, you look really happy, bro. Let's get you out here and you can do an EVA report. Just above Kerbin Shores. Alright, you keep that and get back on board. And now we will just kind of go back, I suppose. In fact, we can probably just, yeah, just decouple. We don't really, we don't need that stage anymore. It's going to fall back down anyways. I want to try to keep it as debris-free. Uh, debris free. Debris free. That sounds weird. It rolls off the tongue strangely. Anyways, I'm going to try to keep the... Um, the orbit of Kerbin as debris free as possible. So, yeah. I'm gonna try to make sure that everything will crash and burn the way it's supposed to. And I really hope. I can't remember if this parachute is enough to actually hold that whole thing up. Let's turn that off because I don't want to mess up. And crew report. Okay, I guess we'll, we'll keep that one, sure. 3.5 science ain't much, but it's something. So now we are loaded up on reports. We have the crew report in there. We have the EVA report from out there. We have the goo from out there. Hopefully we will land on land. I think we're going to land in the water. You can see the, the edge of the land right there. Yep. We're about, yeah, we're going to land in water. Dang. All right. Well, it's going to be a little bit harder than the ground, so hopefully we survive. How you doing in there, buddy? You do oh, right in this tiny cockpit that you can't see crap out of. Oh, looks like fires stopped. Whoa! Right, right, right. I, f I forgot I was in uh, crazy super speed mode. Yep, you can. You can't. You can't actually see the water, but you can sort of see it if you pay attention. If you look really, really close, and if we zoom out, you can... I still can't see it. This is all water underneath us, let's just say that. And that's uh, that's not so good. So we're going to wait until about... I'm going to wait until about 1,500 meters before I pop the parachute. Because so I don't want to open it too early in case it rips off. Because that would be bad news all around. Alright, so around here we'll pop the parachute. Get a little bit of extra drag going. Hopefully it'll open soon as well. And we're not going too fast for anything. Come on, please don't blow up. Good, good, good. Nothing has ripped apart. We are still coming down at uh, 69. At uh, just under 7 meters a second, which is... It's, it's a little bit faster than I'd like. I, I usually prefer under 5 meters, but... You know, whatever. We'll make do. Now we wait for the whole tedious process of making landing. Okay. Come on, Billy. You made it home, my man. Good job, Billy Kerman. Now, do you want to come outside? Uh, I don't want to risk it, because I... Th He's probably just going to fall in the water. He can't do anything here anyways, can he? Oh, he just kind of floats there. That, that works. Can he actually swim? He can't swim. Look at him doggy paddle. That's cute. All right, can you do an EVA report here? Yes, you can. You need a surface sample of the water? You can. You've taken the sample of the water. It appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. Oh, wow. 
Wow, I would never have imagined that is a thing. All right, so we'll recover uh, Bill. And he should give us a good, like, 20, 30 science, maybe, himself. The surface sample, the water sample itself was, what, 12 science? Which is pretty good. It's like they've never gone over to the water that's over there. Yeah, 12 science from the water. What is that number, the data gathered? Hmm. Okay, well, that's, that's one thing. That was, what, 15 science overall? So now let's go to... Hey, we got a bunch of bunch more things out here. There we go. I was wondering where all of the uh, all of the things were. Looks like these ones are a little bit closer. Ooh, that one's huge. Let's track that one. Where are you going to be here? 122 days. All right. So what about the... That one's large. So let's see what we got here. Oh, that one's, that's quite a while. Well, you know what, let's just track a bunch of them, just to make the map a little bit more confusing. So this one is... That's a Class C, that's a Class C. Oh, they're all, cla they're all Class Cs? Oh, no, I guess you actually gotta click on them to see what class they are. So that's a Class C, that's a Class... Yeah, okay. Cool, hiccups again. Oh, looks like this one's gonna be a little bit closer, 105 days. What about this one? This one's huge. Oh, quite some time. So it looks like we have roughly a hundred days or so before we even have to worry about the first... I think it was this one that's the first one. No, maybe it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, 95 days. It's not so shabby. Alright, and we had a... I can't see anything. I guess it's just that one, the Untitled Spacecraft. And recover you for all your science. Oh yeah, 30 science. Big money. So now we have 63 science. And yes, I know, you can you can do like one mission, which basically earns you all the science you need. But it requires a lot of effort, and I'm not that good at the game. So I don't, I don't really want to do that. I want to try to be a bit more realistic about it. So what do we want next? We want radio decouplers are nice. Smaller engines, landing legs. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with that one. And uh, SAS battery, 45 science done. Just just for the fact that it's a battery. SAS is nice, but battery is just the battery and the uh, the science junior. It'll just bump up the uh, the science gathering by that much more. Science archives. Yeah, I like this. I like this little thing. You can look at the uh, at your 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 science. Your it's not just the science though. It's like everything that's happened really. Like you took, I guess it is the science. It, it shows you where you took the uh, the samples and the experiments. But I like this too. The fact that you can you know click through all the different places and see all the moons. You can look at Jewel and it's all its million moons. And you can see all the science and stuff you took there. I know this is an old thing, but I'm still impressed by certain features of this game every time I see them. But uh, anyways, I'm going to be calling the episode off here because, well, it's uh, it's about that time. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. You know, if you did, just please let me know down below. If you have any ideas for things you'd like to see in uh, career mode, yeah, give me a heads up. And probably the main goal, like I said, will be to get an asteroid base going as fast as possible. So hopefully I'll have everything ready in the 100 days or so until the uh, first asteroid will be here, because that'll be the first guinea pig. So I think that was only a Class C. I'd like to hook up a Class E for the asteroid base. But um, anyhow, yeah. Let me know what you thought, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.